Okay, so over here, I actually have eight cards. I have the four kings and the four queens, and they're all normal cards. Okay, so Evan, I just want you to think of one of these cards. Don't even say it out loud. And guys, this is not prearranged. He can think of any of, the, any of these cards. So are you thinking of one? Yes. Okay, perfect. I have no idea what it is. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to show you four cards, and you're just going to tell me if you see your card in the pile. So in this pile, do you see your card? And, I'm not, and I am not going to look at these cards. Do you see your card? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Now we're going to do it again. So I'm going to show you four cards. Just tell me if you see your card, okay? I'm not looking. Do you see your card? No. No? All right. Now, final time, I'm going to ask you, do you see your card in this pile? I'm not looking. Do you see your card? No. No? Okay. Now, I have no idea what the card is. Only you know what the card is. But actually, not only you know what the card is, the cards know what card you're thinking of. And I'm going to ask them some questions right now. So the first question, don't, don't even answer any of these, Evan. Cards. I'm asking you, was Evan's card a king or a queen? They already know your card was a king. Was it a king? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to ask the, ne the next question, which is, was Evan's king a red king or a black king? They already know it was red. Was it red? Yes. All right. Next question. Since it was a king and it was red, was it the king of hearts or the king of diamonds? Was it a heart or a diamond? The cards already know it was a heart. So therefore, you were thinking of the king of hearts, weren't you? Yes. All right, and that's the trick. And now for the tutorial. Okay, guys, so this is the tutorial for the trick you just saw. It is a really impressive trick. I think this is a really fun trick to do also. It really makes the spectators think that you have some supernatural powers. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So you're going to need to get uh, four kings and four queens and their normal cards. But all you need to do is just a little setup, which is make them be in chased order, which means clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, and also for the queens too, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. This order will just make the trick work. So you just need to make it king of clubs, king of hearts, king of spades, king of diamonds, and then you put the queens on top in the same order, queen of clubs, queen of hearts, queen of spades, queen of diamonds. And this is the setup for the trick. You should just make the cards look exactly like this. So now, you first ask the spectator to think of any card. Don't even say it out loud. They can think of any card. It doesn't matter. Let's just say they're thinking of the queen of spades, okay? So queen of spades. That was just a random choice because they can literally think of any card and the trick will work. So you don't know what card they're thinking of, only they do. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing this thing called in-jogging and out-jogging cards, which means you're going to spread off the top card, put it lower, and you're going to put it lower than the second card, and then move this card up with these fingers. You're just going to move the whole thing up, and then you're going to repeat, repeat the process. So go down, and then up, down, up, down, up. Now you should have kind of like this kind of thing going on, where you have four cards lower than four cards above them. And you're going to be taking out the four cards above them like this. You're just going to be taking them out. Okay, but don't do that yet, because now I need to explain um, the basic rules of this trick. So there's three rounds of the in-jogging and out-jogging process. Round one, the pile with their card must go on top. Round two, the pile with their card must go on the bottom. And round three, once again, the pile with their card must go on the top. So, I'm going to explain this now. You're going to be in-jogging and out-jogging cards. You're going to take only the cards above. You're only going to be taking the out-jog cards. So, they're thinking of the Queen of Spades. You ask them, and you don't look at these cards, you ask them if they see their card in this pile. In this case, no. Now, you know the rule is the pile with their card must go on top for the first round. So, if their card is not in this pile, it must be in this pile. And you know the rule is it must be on top. So therefore, you must put this pile on top. Now for round two, you're going to repeat the process. And now you know the rule is the pile with their card must be on the bottom for the second round. So if they see their card here, which is the queen of spades, and they say yes, you know that the pile with their card must go on the bottom. So now you know their card is in this pile, and you know that the rule is it must go on the bottom. So you take this pile, and you put it on the bottom. Now for round three, you're going to do the same thing. 
you're going to in jock out jog. And now you know that the rule for round three is the pile with their card must go on top. So you ask them if they see their card, queen of spades, they say yes. You know the rule is um, the pile with their card must go on top. So if they see their card here, you know the rule is it must go on top. So you take this pile and you put it on top. And now you are all set up to reveal their card. And this will work with any card. So you just have to remember that. Those three rules. I, I um, put them up on the screen. So you will not forget those rules. So now, all you have to do now is deal from left to right, alternating left, right, okay? Left, right, left, right, left, right. And now you're going to be revealing their cards. So you're going to ask the cards. It's kind of like a self-working trick if you follow those rules. So the first question is, was it a king or a queen? You're going to flip the whole pile over, um, showing the bottom card is a queen, okay? And that was correct. Now you're going to take this pile, the face down pile, and you're also going to deal from left to right, okay? So like outside, middle, outside, middle, left, right. So now the middle pile right here, you're going to ask them, was it red or black? And you're going to flip the whole pile over showing the bottom card, and the cards will already know it was black. It was a black queen, which is correct. Now all you're going to do is take the top card here and just slide it. Just uh, slide the top card over like this. And now this is going to be um, revealing the suit of their card. So now you know it was a queen, was it black? But you don't know the suit, so you ask the cards, was it, since it was black, was it a club or a spade? And if it was red, then you would ask heart or diamond. But since it's black, um, club or spade, and you show spade. So since it was a queen, it was black, and it was a spade, this card will automatically be the card they thought of, the queen of spades. And then you can just reveal it any way you want. I do this kind of snap change thing from Miss Mag. Uh, and you can do whatever you want. You know what? Let's actually do the trick again. And let's actually pick another card to memorize, okay? So I'm just going to prove to you guys that this works with any card that they want. So let's pick a different card. Let's do a king instead. Let's do the king of diamonds. Let's say they're memorizing the king of diamonds. Okay, so we're going to do the whole thing again. We're going to in-jog, out-jog cards. And now you know the first rule is the pile with their card must be on top. So they're looking for their card. They say yes. And you know the rule is the pile with their card must be on top. So you know this is this has their card, so you put it on top. Now, you're going to do it again. Now you know the rule is their card must be on the bottom. So you're going to ask them, do they see their card in this pile? They're going to say yes. Now you know their card is in this pile, and you know the rules. It must be on the bottom. So you're going to take this and put it on the bottom. Now, you're going to do the same thing again. And now you know the rule is their pile must be on top. So if they don't, okay, so the king of diamonds is not in this pile, so now you know it's in this pile, and this pile must be on top, because it's the third round, so you put it on top. Now you're going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and watch. It will automatically work again. So you ask the cards, king or queen, and they will know it's a king. Now you're going to go left, right again, left, right, left, right. Was it uh, red or black? And they will know it was red. Slide over the top card. Was it a heart or diamond? Since it was red, they know it was a diamond. And then the cards know you're thinking of the king of diamonds. This works with any card. You just have to remember those rules. And this trick is just mind-blowing. It's so cool. Um, I really, really like this trick. So hopefully you guys got all of that. If you don't understand, um, please comment your questions and I will do my best to answer them. So hopefully you guys like that trick. And see you guys for the next video. So see you guys next time. Bye.